by chance your sample has lower surface tension, then very quickly it will flow because cohesive forces are very weaker. So larger drop numbers means that your sample has least surface tension, least amount of surface tension. This is again a, just a, uh, by when you are taking reading that type estimation, rough estimation. Because it, the surface tension means, I just in the theory I explained, a larger surface tension means no vatability. And then least surface tension means maximum. So we'll quickly go down, we'll quickly go down. Adhesive forces are also weaker. So now drops are being formed here. And if the, uh, this is regulated nicely, means flow rate is uh, optimum or less, then you again get a very nice data. Because then no disruption, no interruption is there. Even if flow is fast, fast flow itself will create a trouble. So flow should also be little bit slow regulated. Now, and see, you are just observing this. The sample is not in touch of environment. If you take a stalgometer or tensiometer, in my talk I told you, the sample is taken in the, the disk type, like this. So that is very dangerous system. That can, and again, that, that uh, platinum radium plate is to be cleaned and dried every time. So that is a negative factor. So that machine, uh, that uh, platinum Wilhelm plate tensiometer, that is called, the name of the equipment is Wilhelm plate tensiometer. That is not fitted at all. It is expensive and it, it gives only one parameter. While this machine, sample does not come in contact of environment and then also many other parameters <coughs> are measured along with surface tension. So now this is, uh, uh, how many drops? So 120 drops so for water sample are noted here. By chance, if you want to repeat for, for concordant reading or for uh, reproducibility of the machine, you can repeat any time. What is the time period? A time kata is Time. Not time pendant. pendant. He has now noted drop, the pendant drops. Pendant drop. Because he is, of course, your, your point is very right. Uh, so uh, only because his focus is to determine the surface tensor. So that time his, his, his focus is to note down the trend and drop number. And we have conducted the experiments when, surface, when drop being, drops are being formed and time was also noted. And then with the help of this data time, we calculate the viscosity. Though it was very near, but not accurate when it was separately measured. We also conducted those experiments. So separately is advisable. Of course it is very right. Time data, if it is measured, noted down, it is good. Right, sir? So this is the concept of surface tension and cohesive force as I told you. Simple. If your sample has, has larger surface, higher surface tension, less number of drops will be formed. Because drop, since it is cohesive, higher cohesive force, it will be sticking, sticking to the that, uh, capillary only. And larger, larger <coughs> volume. One drop will take almost larger volume. And by chance, if you are taking any sample which has lower surface tension, almost uh, 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 half uh, size of the drop will be formed about that. So half number of drop will be there. This is a distinguishing. So drop size is also very, very critical parameter when you measure this. Drop size. Now, uh, any any point regarding this? In case of uh, pressure regulator, when you are using pressure regulator, how to count this? For low surface tension? Uh, yes, sir. Again, same thing. Simply... No, because we are interfering. <laughs> Because it's a natural process now, ah. and when we are using this pressure regulator, mm. so other interferences are there. So how to calculate the drop rates within that stretch? <coughs> no, no, everything same. Simply, you have to see now it is naturally controlled. The naturally that yes. at one atmosphere is yes. that is also naturally controlled, but it requires less that pressure. That's why everything is same as such, except mm -hmm. releasing, allowing less pressure to this, so that. This is the, the flow uh, is not fast end, it is slowed down and then drops are being formed because drop, this liquid does not have adequate amount of adhesive and cohesive forces. So it is all its own, it is not in the position to develop uh, uh, that uh, 
develop a drop. So that's why we are assisting. We are assisting because we have to measure that. So this equipment is also capable to measure the surface tension of those liquids which have adequately less than the surface tension. So this regulatory mechanism is there. We are not changing anything. Simply we are controlling the, uh, the flow rate. Here it is controlled at one atmosphere pressure. They are measuring at half that, uh, that atmosphere pressure. But Nothing it may, else. It may vary person to person. No, no, no. no. It's been, uh, that regulator is fixed. You have regulator is fixed. At half is half. You have to, that have marking is there. Okay. You are very right. Marking is there. It's not that anybody can do like this. It's a marking, fixed marking. It is rotated, fixed marking. For example, you have to allow uh, that to one ampere or two ampere. That is fixed. Na? Similarly like that. Similarly like that. Fixed. 